goal proposal is an amazing tool to have on the screen when you're going through this difficult conversation, especially if you go, right, that's your turnover. Yeah, you have X, these amount of employees. You need your accounts and tax. Get them to agree what you're pumping into the pricing. And at the end of it, really, what can they say? Love it. If they need it, they need it. <laughs>
-hmm. That's gone as well. So let's go into the third client yeah. here. And yeah. now you've increased his client by 89%. Yes, definitely. Um, now, he, he obviously has grown and expanded a bit his business. And there's going to be another um, one coming on board probably by the end of the year. Yes. So he's now aware. You know, as I said, I went through the whole go proposal on screen. Yes, 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 that's me. That's my business. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah, if wow. that's what it is. So, I, you know, I think too, my mindset was he sees the value um, in the time that we save him, um, you know, the level of service we're giving him. He actually commented on that. Well, what he, what he actually says was, well, the, the time that you're saving me and what you're doing for me, um, I know in money terms what I'm saving. He says, so you're actually probably in my mind free. <laughs> that was his word. That's okay. it. Yeah. But then here's the interesting thing as well. The go proposal is also now free for you because of the increase in fees you've made. Yes, yes. The go proposal's free. You're free for him. Yeah. We're all free. <laughs> and, but we've created a win win win. Yeah. And that totally. is genuinely what we try. So everybody benefits from this. And so, so we have all these fears going into this, what we think they're going to say. Yeah. And, and it's because we, you know, we, we, we're fearful of what we should have done in the past. I should have done this before. So we live in the past. We're fearful of what if we lose the client in the future. Yeah. But actually, let's just deal with what we've got now. Yeah. Let's just have a chat. Let's see what's going on. Yeah. Because and I'm I now confident. This. Yeah. And I feel confident enough to say, well, look, if you really don't value our level of service, then we aren't a good fit. Yes. The clients that you've repriced here, are they just come round for their annual fee review yes yes or... we're we're using the opportunity of new tax year we're doing fee reviews this year yeah um and we're we're doing it with goal proposal before james to be honest with clients that have been with us um we've probably just added on five percent incremental increase mm -hmm. um now i can see the benefit of you know what you guys have all been shouting about for the past few years <laughs> do you know what what's really interesting is that that five percent when you're in that mindset you're like yeah. a ship on the water, okay? Yep. So you're mm -hmm. a ship on the water, and if things go down, you go down, and it goes slightly up 5%, you're like that, right? Okay? Yeah. You're now at the mercy of forces you can't control. But yeah. what you've done is you said, right, well, screw what's going on with this. I'm mm -hmm. just going up here, like 35%, 67%, 89%. Yeah. This yeah. can do what it wants. Yeah. And because you, you've removed that limiting belief, and it's amazing. Yeah. So, how many clients do you have, Sean, that you've now got to go and reprice? Um, well, I would say this month we've probably got another 25, 26 to go. Yeah. yeah. Um, you know, so that that's where that's where we're at this mm -hmm. month. So we're going to do it, you know, in a staggered process because obviously, you know, we've got time constraints, etc. I can't yeah. spend I all it. day, every day, just at the minute doing that. So Sure. And then just do the question, Sharon, is you said you'd started by doing um, new clients to start with. Yes. Was that because that's you felt more confident going to them because you didn't have the legacy of repricing wrong? Yeah, I, I knew I was. Yeah, I've always known that I was dodging a difficult conversation with current clients on what price they're paying. And I let that I've let that drag on new clients. Well, look, they're coming through the door Um, they're, you know, I had more confidence to sit down with them and go through the format of goal proposal. Now, I haven't said that. I mean, I actually was speaking to Donna uh, this morning. The new clients that we've brought on board within the last year or so um, using goal proposal, easily, easily 25% plus on what we would have just, you wow. know, finger in the air pricing. Wow. Easily, easily. Yeah. yeah. So... And the, and, the comp, and, and the difference in that relationship as well, Sharon, I don't want to put words in your mouth, but yeah, be, do you feel there's a difference with that relationship Absolutely. because of the way you're charging? Absolutely. I feel more empowered because I can, you know, I'm able to visually show them, look, this is what you need. This is what it costs. You know, let, let's do this. Yeah. Um, and I have to say, so far, it's been very receptive. And now I have, I know I have one client booked in next week, and it's maybe going to be a little bit difficult because <laughs> they're very price sensitive. But yeah. I now have the words. I think before, James, I didn't really have the words for the conversation. Now yeah. I do. I found, I found my flow with it. Yeah. If that what makes are those, sense. What are some of those words? What are some of those words? 
uh, okay. Um, <laughs> I'm your so, client. Let me. I'll be your client. Okay. Okay. So um, obviously we're we're into the new tax year, James, and we're um, doing fee reviews. So this is why I've invited you up today. Um, so I'm just going to go through this with you. So we're going to go through the proposal. So um, you're currently paying us two hundred and fifty pounds a month plus fat. So it's now four hundred and fifty pounds a month. Is there any queries you have? Right. So I go down through. Um, that is your turnover. Yeah. That you do need your accounts and tax return done. Yeah. I'm looking at the chairs if it's the client, by the way. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, um, okay, so have you see I haven't had pushback yet. So if they push back, I would be inclined to say, well, you know, we're providing you with a very high level of service. OK, it's things that maybe you cannot touch or see, but we're here at the end of the phone. If you pop up unannounced to the office, we try and accommodate you. You know, you know, throughout the pandemic, we have help with X, Y, Z, you know. So, I mean, those kind of things that I can highlight and then bring into the conversation about the time that we're saving them. Yes. You know, um, the convenience aspect, the fact that they've got more than just an accountant except you know they're, they're more they're accessible to more than just accountancy services yeah yeah that's great what i love about that what you what you're actually doing there is you're building it up with them and yeah. you're getting them to agree each stage so is that now your revenue yes perfect you have this number of staff yeah. fine so you're bringing them on that journey i think where some yeah. people fall down is yeah. they just ping the proposal over to them or the renewal but they've not built it up with them they've not you you're getting agreement every stage you still need this service Brilliant. So I love that, that you get an agreement to yep. every step. And yep. if you do get to a point where they say, I don't want to pay that much. It's like, I totally respect that. I totally yep. I understand that. So if you want to keep paying what you're paying, what service do you want to remove? Yes. Oh, so, and I now have the confidence to say that. Yeah. Where before I would have probably went, oh, what can we do here to, yeah. you know, that because I was frightened of losing the client. Now, I'm not saying I want to lose clients. Of course, I don't want to lose clients. Um, a lot of them have been with us 15 plus years, yeah. 20 years. Um, there's a long-term relationship there. You know, they've invested into this business as well, and I'm very aware of that. But but we need to get our value now in money terms. So Yes. I love it. Final question, Sharon. What would you say to someone who is just they've got that fear about going back and repricing existing clients. They've got that fear that they're scared to do it. They may be making excuses. They're coming up with stories as to why they can't do it, or they don't want to pay the extra increase in go proposal. And the, you know, yeah. whatever, 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 whatever story, the clients don't have time. They can't get them on the phone, all this stuff. What would, but what would you say to that person to help them to make the breakthrough that you've made Sharon? Well, I would say to them, <laughs> Because this is my mindset at the moment: face everything and rise. Love it, it. You're not going to look if you always do what you always did. You'll always get what you always got. Yeah. If you want to change, you've got to implement the change. You've got yeah. to be brave, and courage. You know, find courage and just do it. But I actually think what you said there is nearly right. <laughs> if you always do what you've always done, if yeah. everyone else is improving then what will happen is you'll actually, yeah. you'll get less than yes. what you have. If you just yeah. keep doing it, you'll get less. Mm. You've got to do the, the, I'm going to do a video on this. And the analogy is walking the wrong way up an escalator, right? Yeah. If totally. you just keep walking, mm. you, you stay still. <laughs> you don't go anywhere. No. <laughs> you know, in fact, no. if you stand still, you go backwards down it. Right. So you've just got to keep walking just to yeah. stay still. If you want to move forward, You've actually got to really build some momentum up. But so if you've always do what you've always done, you're going to get less in yeah, the future. Constantly, you yeah. Me? Yeah, I'm with you now. Yeah, totally. Yeah. So you don't look back because you're not going that way. Yes. Uh, yeah, I love it. <laughs> I like that one. And just book that first one in. Is that what you would say? Get the first one booked Just in. get over the hurdle. Book the first one in. Um, Goal proposal is an amazing tool to have on the screen when you're going through this difficult conversation, especially if you go... Right, that's your turnover. Yeah, you have X, these amount of employees. You need your accounts and tax. Get them to agree what you're pumping into the pricing. And at the end of it, really, what can they say? 
love it. The, the, the Nader, the Nader. <laughs> you <love> know. <laughs> Uh, so, well as I say, thank you very much, James. No, I do, do honestly appreciate all the help that you guys, um, you know, all the sharing. I find that amazing. Yeah. You know, fellow professionals all sharing and collaborating, and it's um, it is it's, it's brilliant. It's absolutely yeah. brilliant. No, I love it. I just really appreciate you. I'm just so grateful that we've got you. Just a huge, huge well done for making that breakthrough. You know, breakthroughs you. are instant events. Yes. It's preparing to make the breakthrough and figure yes. out why you need to make the breakthrough, which can take yeah. years of suffering and struggling. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When you say, that is it, I've, I've had enough, we are not doing this anymore, I'm doing it for these reasons, mm -hmm. and if I'm just gonna find a way, and if I can't find a way, I'm gonna make a way, and I'm coming through, because you know what? I'm a good person, I'm doing good stuff, I'm doing it for the right reasons, yeah. and I deserve this. Yes. So here we go. 100%, yeah. let's go. Thank you.